you have trouble figuring out why your wig looks fake or perhaps wiggy <laughs> the hairline the density do you have trouble customizing the hairline to look natural as possible let's be honest here guys so many of us including myself like to wear baby hairs mainly because it's so easy to conceal the lace demarcation line you know what i mean if you want your wig to look natural we might want to stay away from baby hairs ladies let me explain when you look at the hairline of a naturally straight haired female they don't have wavy curly laid baby hairs i mean i mean seriously look at these pictures don't get me wrong a lot of people have baby hairs but when they do the textures match with their grown adult hairs i mean i mean look at this picture you can see short straight hairs peeking out in my personal opinion curvy baby hairs only make sense when you have water waves or curly hair in my opinion you know because it's like your natural curls it just doesn't make any sense to have wavy baby hairs when the hair that's supposed to be coming out of your scalp is bone straight. I mean, I'm guilty of this too because I like to rock baby hair sometimes. So when it comes to that, yeah, it looks natural. But generally, when your hair is silky bone straight, it just doesn't make sense to have curvy baby hairs. Just my opinion. Okay, so next, let's talk about hairline here. When it comes to the shape of your frontal hairline, I think it's most flattering when you mimic your natural hairline. So if you have a widow's peak, try to add that to your frontal. It'll be easy for you to lay that on top of your natural hairline anyway. Now let's talk parting. Most partings on a natural scalp is not always perfect, to be honest with you. Sometimes, you know, crystal clear straight partings even I know Moses didn't part that shoe. Like crystal clear, perfect parting, which is not natural. No offense. I'm guilty too. <laughs> and usually when you see this perfect crystal clear parting, these women have thin, low density hair when it comes to the hair volume. That's why it makes sense. Like if you see these women and they're parting, you see how it's wide and it's perfect and it's nice and flat. It's because their hair density is low. They have low hair density. That's why it makes sense for them to have wide parting. So if your hair is dense, it makes sense to have narrow parting. So it's important to analyze what kind of wig you have, density, how thick the hair is, and then create your parting accordingly. If your hair is thin, then it makes sense for you to have a wider part. It looks more natural. If your hair is thick and dense, it makes sense to have a regular or narrow parting. Do you wonder why colored wigs with dark roots look more natural than colored wigs with no roots? Because sometimes imperfection registers as natural or real. So similar to that, it's not always natural looking when you have a perfectly round hairlines and perfectly straight parting. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. I made two different videos, one for straight hair and one for curly hair. And I'll leave the links down below so you guys can check them out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.